I hope this video helps. Please check out my playlist, Evidence for Christianity, Evidence for the Bible, End Times, and the Book of Revelation. I'll leave links in the description for all four. Enjoy. I'm going to show you how to install the filter on this Honeywell Media Air Cleaner. It's either an F100 or an F200 series, I don't know. But it's a 20 by 25 by 4 air filter that goes in it. I'm also going to show you how I put my vinegar water solution down into the uh, air handler's condensation drain line here. And that's to prevent mold and mildew buildup uh, that will clog your drain line. And the air handler that, that I have is a Linux model number CHX35-42B-6F-1. I'm also going to explain to you how to uh, remove a clog from your drain pipe if it does get clogged with uh, mold, mildew, and dirt because that does happen sometimes and then it'll overflow uh, into your drip pan here. This is the container I'm going to use to put the vinegar water solution into the drain line and it's a ketchup mustard barbecue sauce uh, container. Anyway, I'm going to fill it up half the way with the white distilled vinegar and then the other half of the way with water. And this specific container is a 12 ounce bottle. So before you go replace the filter, make sure you shut off your air conditioner. All right, so inspect your air filter, your new one, to make sure that it's all free of any damage uh, before putting it in. So the thing about this door that might be tricky is you might think you need to pull up or down, but you just pull out. It's magnetically held onto the case. I don't know how secure your air handler is, but you might need to put yourself up against it when you pull. So I just pulled out and then <clears throat> then it can hinge down. There we go. Take that off. Pull your old air filter out. And then when you put in your new air filter, you need to make sure that you got the airflow correct. So it's going to have an airflow arrow. As you can see, the arrow is pointing toward you want it pointing toward the air handler because that's where the water or that's where the air is flowing is into the air handler. And there's a couple of of metal guides here for the air filter on the top and bottom to go into. So you want to make sure you get that into the guides and not be shoving it on top of them and wedging the air filter in there. So I have my arrow pointing toward the air handler. And just slide it in. And then your cover, there's a this thing down here, that you need to get it into this notched out spot. And then you just make sure it's on there, in there all the way. There we go. And then you'll feel the magnet grab onto the uh, the door. But yeah, when you pull it off, you just pull it out and maybe put your butt up against the actual air handler if it's hanging freely from the rafters. That way it doesn't yank on your air handler too much. So on the filter I bought, it says to change it every 12 months or sooner. I would highly recommend doing every six months. These wider uh, filters, the four inch, uh, you can make them go longer than the one inch. But uh, I, uh, a year is too long to leave this thing in there i i would say i would say no more than six months for myself so this is your air handler's condensation drain line here that's uh, insulated in black and then you got this access hole 
So I fill it with uh, vinegar water solution in order to uh, help prevent mold and mildew buildup inside the drain line that might cause a clog. And if this thing gets clogged, it'll back up into the AC and come out this other uh, drain hole there. And that will uh, uh, fall into the, that will go into the drip pan here. I have a sensor that will shut off my AC if it starts detecting water in the bottom of the drip pan. But some houses don't have that. Uh, uh, that uh, sensor on the drip pan so it might still run even though the uh, drain line is overfilled I mean even though the drain line is clogged and backing up into it so if you notice that it is backing up uh, and then that your drip pan here is getting water in it then you need to uh, unclog your your drain line for your condensation and the way you do that is you just get a mini shop back and put it over the over this open tube here for the drain line and then you know seal around the shop back and the shop back has to be able to vacuum up water because you're going to be sucking a bunch of wet nastiness out of here that's clogging up your drain line but anyway you get your uh you know, you get your shot back, put it over the hose, seal it so that it gets a good suck, and it'll suck out that uh, clog that's in your drain line. We can go ahead and turn the AC back on. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. If you want to connect with me, I have a public group called Share Your Trade on MeWe. I'll leave that link in the description. Thanks for watching.